Hello, my name is Garks82, and welcome back to our Correct Tech New Horizons Season 2. Uh, last episode, we got our Macerator up and running, and uh, we ended the episode with the Thermal Refinery. Uh, was not working, and I had, uh, I blocked the muffler hatch. It was facing that, so when I placed this interface down, it, it blocked the hatch. That's why it was... Not working. I realized that uh, right after I quit recording uh, last episode. So there we go. That is our setup, and it's all chugging along. I am pretty happy with that. The only thing I wish this. I wish this was like you could put this on the second layer. I guess I could put it right there. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. I really don't like that on the side. I think that looks silly. And then, uh, yeah, I will. Uh, obviously, we're doing Lemonite right now. I don't know how I, I'm probably just going to send all my, I think, just sending every single uh, ore into... I don't know why I'm doing this like because <laughs> I'm talking uh, I think sending just every single ore into the ore washer I know like it's not always the best to process it fully like this but I like thermal refinery um, and I'll probably just do maybe an export bus of with the uh, uh, or dictionary, uh, yeah, the, the name of the thing, I actually don't, no, card, this one, oh, it's or dictionary, it's one word, that's why it wasn't, like a type, there it is, yeah, uh, I'll probably just put that in there and then do crushed, so we'll just send absolutely everything in there, um, I do need to set, Filters. The way I have this set up, though, is I have to filter. And uh, if we have more than nine of the ones that need to go in the thing, which there definitely are, um, this is going to have a bit of an issue. But up till nine, which will get us pretty far, uh, basically, there's this many. But, I mean, I'm not, I highly doubt I'm going to be putting most of this stuff in here. Like olivine, eh. we need olivine flawless for yeah we do. I think you can use uh yeah. See, you can use emerald for that. Although okay, olivine maybe not a good. Okay, topaz, tanzanite, amethyst. Eh. Probably not. I I don't remember what. Everything that goes in there. Tanzanite, I do remember using for something. I don't remember what it was. I remember it was like these Tanzanites. I don't remember what that was for. Anyway. Yeah, I was like, I, I do remember using that for something. And I wish we had the electric implosion compressor, but <laughs> no. Uh, so yeah, most of the stuff were good. Amber, garnet, yellow garnet. Those I'm not going to send through. So just the main ones, we should be fine. I should probably send like emerald through, maybe next. Because emerald is important. But uh, all right, so that is ore processing. Um, I just realized, and I'd kind of forgotten, because <laughs> I haven't really been uh, touching most of this stuff, is I need to get all these things fully processed down as well. Uh, so I think I may just spend quite a bit of time to a day, and um, where were those from? Oh, that was from, right, it was this. I had forgotten to move everything over. 
I still don't know if this is the best idea. Because if the base raider is running, it's... Well, no, I, I don't know. We'll leave it and then we'll see if this is going to be a issue. It doesn't look like it's running permanently. Also, I forgot to turn that back on. So, yeah, we'll leave this here and then I will... We'll see if this causes an issue with auto crafting if anything we should probably just set up a separate one um, i'm gonna leave this here just in case we have manual stuff like a lot of the uh, i mean i guess there's no reason for me to just manually i'll just send this all through the thing i don't know We'll just have to see, but I think, oh, no, I need, I just remembered, I need, uh, I'm not looking forward to this one. We really need to get, uh, these two need to be fully automated, uh, just for circuits and stuff, and for hatches, and also... this i'm not really looking forward to having to automate this whole craziness but uh that kind of needs to be automated before i start getting into all the massive amounts of circuits that we're going to need for the assembly line basically this one this is the issue because uh, we need, I can't remember how many we need, 11 or something like that. What do, and that is, that's pretty sh small, but some of these, yeah, like eight. And if we're crafting up the assembly line, we might as well do one for most of it. Because there's no point in crafting up the assembly line and then having to craft up more to do the robot arm for the circuit assembler. Yeah, I think we need 10. 10 or 11 of these. Now that, at this point... We can actually do that. Yeah, at this point, let's do, let's see what we're kind of looking at here. For 11 of those. Yeah, 2,500 platinum dust is going to be an issue. We need more of that poly stuff. Um, I've never actually, I've never, I have this epoxy automated and the chloride automated. I don't have it turned into sheets. That's something I really need to think about. But uh, yeah, I need to switch these over probably to the advanced ones. So we got some stuff here um, before. This isn't well i'm looking at it i'm like the platinum is obviously a big issue <clears throat> but i'm like looking at it. i'm like this is only 25 tungsten for that and all right that's quite a lot but uh all right that's not that doesn't look like the end of the world i mean obviously it's not the whole thing but uh, all right let me uh let me get to processing here and uh we'll see yeah, I mean, like, that's easy. Oh, there's more. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't remember how many to do. I'm going to have to do all the math on that anyway. But, uh, yeah, let me uh, start getting processing and figuring out 
stuff and we will come back okay we are back and of course i have gone ahead and <laughs> got completely sidetracked because it is minecraft but i was noticing um now that i have so many like multi-blocks and stuff running uh we are starting to tax our power gen quite a bit now the biggest part is obviously when i have two uh, blast furnaces running at luv it drains pretty quick um so that is why i haven't expanded that at all we just have the two blast furnaces for now um and i'm thinking i want to expand well i'm not thinking i i know i want to expand because i've done it uh the power gen that we have over here um i've gone ahead and added two more casings now obviously we don't produce enough superheated steam for three of those running at full um i have done the lower turbines i tried with the large turbines and it we just weren't producing enough and uh yeah we can't do huge turbines which would use even more steam, um, but we can't do that because it requires mericium. So we're a long way off huge turbines. Um, and I think the large ones are actually, these are turbine efficiency of 150%, whereas that's only 130. So these are technically more efficient. Obviously, if you really just want to put out as much power as you can, the, uh, these are better but yeah so we are actually drawing too much superheated steam which i kind of knew with this um so i am actually going to turn this off and um that one yeah that one uh so this stops draining and i think what i'm going to do is actually i want to do this for a while is upgrade our thing to use uranium so i think it's finally time to do that i have plenty of thorium left and uh we are going through that as well also i need to deal with those as well um and i can actually just throw them in the thermal centrifuge we don't have to worry about them at all thermal centrifuge there we go lutetium we get our thorium back and iron dust so finally getting around to doing that yep I think that'll that should be fine, right? Yep, there it goes. And then we should be getting Yep, there we go, Lutetium. So cool. We are producing that. So I do want like I said, I do want to do Uranium. Now I do have a plan i think it uses two quad uranium we are using eight quad thorium right now but i have a thing that does two quad uranium and uh it actually produces more heat so i think i'm gonna do that but before we do that uh, i do need yet oh wait no now i'm thinking about it. this isn't a chemical reactor um ic2 coolant we need the mixer um i was thinking uh i'm just looking at that recipe we have the heat exchanger that does that but yeah did i ever i think i have a mixer no thought i had a mixer at ev i may have just Disassembled it though. Anyway, we'll just do 
actually, what we're going to do is pull out the HV one and put this one in. Because we're really not, I'm really not producing any more HV machines ever. So, all right, let me get that going. The question is, do I want a tank of IC2 coolant? Now, we actually will be using IC2 coolant. Uh, there are a couple things. For example, this recipe we're going to need. Pretty sure we need that for something. I don't remember what it's for. Crushed ice. Don't we need some? There's something. I remember using this for something. The plates. I, I don't know. Maybe we don't need IC2 coolant. I have never noticed that recipe before. I thought the only way you could get thaumium was ingots, because I've only ever searched thaumium ingots. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I've only ever done the thaumium... The thaumium ingots in the crucible. I didn't realize there was a thaumium dust recipe. Wow, there's like a whole bunch of different recipes for thaumium. I didn't realize that. <laughs> All right, so well, that's that. And then, oh, look at that. There's a, a big recipe for it. Yeah, we're going to need it eventually for a whole bunch of different things. So I think I am going to produce a, I just convinced myself, uh, time for a tank. Um, all right, so I'm going to get a tank going, which I am running out of channels over here. I don't think there's really any that I want to get rid of at this point. I really have to see the entire platinum line running to make sure we're not... Um, not, there's no bottleneck anywhere with that, but, uh, and acetone, acetone is very slow. Once we get through all the PTFE or whatever that we're using for the acetone or a pot, is it epoxy? I don't remember. That'll start filling up. All right. Uh, let me stop talking. Let me get IC2 coolant going. Probably just going to do a mixer. Yeah, I'm not going to build a whole big mixer. Just for that. Yeah, I'll just do it with this, I think. Okay, so I've just uh, kind of moved stuff around here. Uh, this isn't super fast, but uh, we're distilling the water because it is much better to use distilled than regular. Uh, regular water uses eight. This uses one. So we got that. I just need to do this. Do my lapis tank. I think we're good. Yeah, we should have enough channels. So that will do that, and then I need to do this. We'll go to another one. Now, I know it's kind of funny that we are... producing the, the stuff here, and then piping it all the way over there, and then piping it back over here, because I'm actually going to place a assembler here to craft up the... To craft up the uranium that we need. So I do need a, another P there and then interface. I actually do have cool. Alright, so that we'll put the other one on top. I have a bunch of channels here. I think I have room for like almost 10 more channels over here, so we are good. All right, so that is that once we get the P to P thing.
and that. All right, so in theory, if I get that going, I totally forgot about that. Uh, I see two coolant is two. There we go. You do get a bucket. Not super fast. But, uh, hmm. Didn't I? No. Didn't I? So, I'm, maybe I. Isn't that the first thing I did when I started recording to connect this? Maybe I did something. Did I connect channels to this one? 30F. Maybe I... This is kind of one I wanted to keep them separate. Did I accidentally... Where is... You know, I need to... No, we have 22 channels there. All right, what's going on? Why ain't that connecting? What the heck is going on? Oh! Duh. Alright, should we try this again? <laughs> I don't know if that is going to fix it. I probably need to do it again. Alright, so, fluid. I forgot to change that to fluid. See? It's usually something very simple. And you just kind of screw it up. Come on. There we go. All right, we got it. So the IC2 coolant is going in there. Um, it should be ending up in that assembly line. Or assembly machine right here. And there we go. All right, it is kind of funny over there and then back to here. But uh, all right, so I need this uranium stuff. Uh, enriched uranium nuclear fuel because this is what we are going to what the heck is that I have no idea what that is uh, this is what we we need so we need this and then this is going to get turned into the fuel rod now I think there are better ones at some point no we're not going to do high density it, i don't think it the math worked out on that if i remember um all right so canning that's safe right putting uranium in the same thing we're doing our food in that's safe even safer than doing thorium and then that goes right here. No, we do want that on there. All right, now I need to do this uranium and this tiny pile. So this is just a compressor recipe. Same with the other one, the 235. You know what? Let's actually. There it is. I think we will switch to Mox when we have enough, but for now, I think we'll just do this. That's what I was looking for. So, tiny pile of uranium dust, and then we'll just do this like that. Uh, I have processed right those were compressor and that is a molecular I really should change the name of my molecular assemblers to uh, 
like crafting or something like that. Because it is kind of funny. That's what I have to type usually when I <laughs> need it. Anyway, um, we should. Oh, <laughs> I'm talking and getting distracted. Uh, uranium. Uh, yes. Yeah. So we have tiny pile. We have a bunch. That'll keep us going for a little bit. Um, I do need to process this all down. Uh, centrifuge goes in a centrifuge. So that is. I don't know how I would want to do this. Do I want to urine and night? Urine. Urine and night. Maybe for the time being, I'll just chuck this in my. This. All right, something got clogged up, and I don't know why. Oh, do I not have a? Yep. All right. That. Uh... Hold on. I don't want to do. I didn't know this. I just threw a whole bunch of stuff in when I was cleaning up my cleaning up all my chests. I didn't know that was going to give us helium three, actually. The end stone. I thought it was going to give us regular helium. Um, because I'm going to process all that down. That's another thing I need to get taken care of. Process this down into helium tungstate. state. All right, so that, should we? No, what was it? Solder and iron. It's funny how like, I have totally, I'm totally like, not even doing what I was. Ah, right. I have the insert impure. All right, I'm not ready to do the, the end stone yet. We'll get to it. Uh, I have that set up. With a ore dictionary thing. I'm just going to chuck this in a filter. All right, I haven't dealt with that. But we are down to only a couple things here. That, oh, I don't even want to look at that. Okay, what was I doing? All right. I need to, <laughs> that's going to bug me if I don't do it. Let's go throw it in there. Besides, we need all this uranium anyway. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to last us. It should last us for a little while though. Okay, uranium. There we go. Nice and clean. Uh, one of those. Everything should work. Hopefully. All right. That is very slow, but we will have this auto crafting, so it's not like this will just start auto crafting when it uses the other two. It doesn't need to be super fast because it just sits there for uh, twenty thousand ticks or whatever that is. So, uh, two uranium. What's the heck the name of this? Two quad. That's easier probably. Wish I could not have those show up. All right, so quad is apparently eight pages of stuff. <laughs> All these. Uh, oh, Greg Tech. All right. No. Yes, that's what I want. Let's put this over here. All right, we got that. Let's take that off. All right, so there is a recipe I was hoping. Um, and then we can actually just do that in this recipe. Or should we just do this in... Where am I putting the... I don't remember where I'm doing the other... The quad thorium. Oh. I can do it over here. Right? Yeah. That'll work over here. I guess I didn't need to come all the way over here. When I have a interface for it. 
All right, we'll put it right next to that one. So, in theory, we should get the quad. All right, cool. There is that. Um, now, I'm going to do two quad. This should work. I mean, we got the single. All it's doing is making more of those and chucking it in the thing that we craft the other one in, which should be not a problem. Um, but I do need to change my reactor. So let me look that up really quick. And um, I'm probably, after I stop recording, I'm probably going to, oh, I don't want to do that, do I? <laughs> I'm just thinking of like, should we use this up? Before I switch it. I can't really do anything with these if there's no use for this if they're not. That is like 12,000. Isn't that like 12,000 seconds? So ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to pull this stuff out and we should be good. Um, for the. I just got to make sure I have everything crafted for this, which we should be good. Okay, so as I was looking at the... Oh my goodness, what, the design that I want to use. I realized it needed thick uh, iridium neutron reflectors. So I'm actually going ahead and crafting all those up and fixing a couple recipes that I needed. Um, and we should be up at this part. I have noticed there is, these feel easier than I remember. I don't remember if there's always two recipes, one that uses double beryllium or one that uses two tungsten of carbine. Well, I mean, beryllium you smelt in a furnace. There is no reason to use that recipe. All right, cool. There is the thick neutron, and now I need to send this through a something. assembler with a one i've kind of turned this assembly machine into my my uranium thing uh neutron reflector parts that should go in there i didn't look at the you know, just mv it has a one in there it's 30 seconds but once these are crafted up we're never going to have to do this again. I just need four of these things, which will take a little bit of time to craft them up. But, uh, all right, cool. So there is that. And then the last one is I need eight of those in Iridium Reinforced. So I need four of these. Graphite. Tin. I have a whole bunch of Cassiterite that needs to be tin. Have I never done a recipe for that? Nah, I probably haven't because I've just done it manually. I still don't know if I want to do from all my processing down. That's a weird. Should we get all the dust into ingots? I feel like I probably want to do that. Graphite, what was the what was I feeding in the molecular transformer for graphite? I don't remember. Where's the... Oh, that was graphene, wasn't it? I was thinking graphene. Graphene goes in the molecular... That's not what we need. We need graphite. That's totally different. Alright, I do have... Somewhere over here. All right, I'm going to have to find it. I remember seeing it because I had some diamond that also needed to be taken care of. I don't remember where it is, but we should have graphite in there. And the last thing is this iridium reinforced plates. Now I need this. We have the industrial TNT. We only need four of these, thankfully, because I don't have... My ITNT fully fleshed out. Um, iridium plate, advance, and then exquisite diamond in a two. All right. That's going to have to go in here. Man, I need to get 
the need to get this sorted out as well into a processing array, but that's a little more complicated. I'm just thinking how what I want to I would have to do an input hatch, an input energy hatch, an IV one. So uh yeah, what was I yeah, iridium. Four of those iridium plates, as we can see. Uh now that we have iridium. I can actually do this. All right, so let me finish this up. This is gonna take me a little bit of a second and we will get our uranium quad up and running. We have the two there. Okay, so there is my new setup and we will just put the quad uranium in there. Now uh, this should do about 1,352, I think was the, was the amount that I read. I don't know, we shall see. Um, I have done a backup just in case. So hopefully this will produce a bit more, um, a bit more superheated steam. Now I think, I think the max this goes up to is 1600, 1600 per second. Um, I don't know the math exactly, but I do think it's like a one to one. This is heat units per second. So I'm assuming that basically 1600 heat units per second is the max that that can handle. And I think that's like 300 and 20, like 320,000 units of superheated steam per second i could be wrong though um we're gonna have to let this stuff get back up because i had it shut off but it does look like everything is working okay can i be using a fluid reactor please cool down an eu reactor what <laughs> well it's in a, a fluid reactor I've been using those in there many times. All right, these all say they cannot be used in a fluid reactor. All right, never mind. I don't know. That's weird, right? That tooltip's funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're about 1,300 and something. It, it might level off eventually. I don't know. I haven't come up with this, this thing, but... Uh, yeah, eventually, once we get full going here, um, we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, that should help a little bit with our power. I do have to kind of sort out the the amount of steam because i don't want what i don't want happening is this to empty out there we go we're starting to fill up what i don't want to happen is this to fill empty out so then all three of the superheated turbines are not running at full efficiency what i want is two running at the full 7200 and then like the last one that i just added just uh that can be a little bit less but uh, yeah, it's gonna take me some time to sort that out. I, I don't know if, I don't know, let's see. Oh, that's right. I just disabled the, the pump. All right, but uh, I do believe, you know, um, I do believe I am gonna have to tackle this stuff before we move on unfortunately because all the circuits that we're going to need um i think it's just better to use the advanced circuits i think but for the most part it is you know just cleaning stuff up still kind of moving breaking down a lot of the single block machines turning them to multi-blocks but for the most part uh, we are just about 
ready to start doing the assembly line. Yeah, see, unfortunately, it is not quite enough, so I'll have to regulate this a, a little bit. You know, 2800 kind of thing. Is that it? Who knows? I'll have to... That's still... Uh, oh, actually, that's... That's pretty dang close. It's still dropping a little bit, but... Uh, that was pretty close, actually. You can kind of see it's... It's still dropping a little bit. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Anyway, that's going to be for today, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.